Hey, it's me. It's Andy. Hey, Andy. How's it going? It's, I'm fantastic. We've got a great show today. That's number one. Number two, I just want to let everyone out there listening know that if they don't have enough spitballers-themed aspects of their life, they can go over to spitballerspod.com. They can click on the Become a Spitwad button. It's just a little button. That's how it sounds. When yeah. you click it, it goes, <laughs> is, it like a, is that a spittoon? Yes. Okay. You can click on Become a Spitwad. Learn more about how you can support the show and get some really cool perks at spitballerspod.com. Let's get to the episode. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Squeed up, 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 a hack a second, come on! Okay, all right. All right. Yeah, what do you think of that? Why, well, it's uh, refreshing to have somebody stick a landing for once. I mean, we are. I got an eight from yeah, that's, Jason. Yeah, that's not bad. That was really good. Yeah, it, it took... Although I do feel like you're beginning, I think you've been going oh, to that a little bit. I, you got to start out with, with the classics, man. What was no. that, a squeak? Now, a why squeaky? the hacky sack? Well, because hacky sacky rhymes. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I didn't know if there was a like a, no. a deeper purpose. Not everybody purpose. just yells words from the show. Skittles! <laughs> Starburst! Well, if you hit them with a Skittles Biddles, then you're good to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't go with the Biddles. It's about the rhyme. Did you guys... Now, uh, when we were growing up, at least when I was growing up, and we were in the same state, uh, right around junior high, like 6th, 7th grade, Hacky sack fever swept my school district. Now, did there you? There were definitely did you guys some nerds. Yeah, there, there were nerds. I that had were, the same oh, thought. Yeah, there were the nerds over in the corner that, that were, were doing hacky it. Yeah. sack. I never they were right next to the tetherball people, and then we were playing basketball. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. The tetherball people were nerds. Oh, <laughs> you didn't know you were a nerd. <laughs> This That's, is amazing. The tetherball players were the ones that couldn't play basketball. The tetherball players were like the lowest on the I am, socioeconomic I am uh, right now. political On the landscape. socioeconomic landscape for the school, yeah. He is finding out just now <laughs> I, that his, yeah, his thank whole belief. You. Al, Al Borland was in. Which, which nerddom are you claiming? Are you claiming the hacky sack? Both. You and I did a lot of hacky sack, that but is then true. I played a lot of tetherball. Nerd alert! There was only one classification of kid below the tetherball hacky sacks, and that was the kids that walked along the fence line all around That's the right. back of the, yep. the school. I, it, it, it is, it's always shocking to hear the, the, the social dynamics of, uh, of different schools. It, it really is. So what, they were the cool kids in your school, the hacky sackers? The, well, the hacky, in junior high, absolutely. The hacky sackers were uh, amongst the top. Okay. See, Andy and I actually went to the same grade school. We didn't yeah. know each other then at all, but we did go to the same – School. It makes and, sense. So it never caught on over there. Yeah. So yeah, Al Born, like the the skateboarders were the same crew as the hacky sackers. Okay. So these are almost like different. Each school is its own country. Yes. And a country has a different culture and different yes. dynamic. So if my child is struggling and they've been classified as just a, hacky a sacker. nerd, <laughs> then what you're telling me is. If I switch schools, they yeah. might just instantly be the popular yes, kid. Yes, absolutely. That is what I'm telling you. Wow. Man, there's a lot of kids at our school that should have switched to Mike's school. <laughs> I am really happy Mike <laughs> didn't go to our school because <laughs> with the tetherball and the hacky sack, oh. oh, man, we'd be dunking on y'all. Welcome into the Spitballers podcast. Great show for you today. Would you rather? That's I a great question. I was the king of the tetherball. <laughs> Were you? I was a I was a dominant force. Oh, what the open open hand slaps over here? No wonder you didn't play tetherball. Probably because you sucked at it. <laughs> oh man, what a weird hill to die on. It's it's. I think it's a ditch. You're dying in a ditch. It's the opposite of a hill. You're like this is where I choose to die. At least in that ditch, I'm wearing a crown. Tetherball Valley. <laughs> Your calculator didn't have advanced functions. Gee. Oh wait, uh, now we're now we're dunking on calculator. Oh well, yeah, because nerds. Oh yeah, yeah. So you says the nerds. Okay, calculator watch. Cool oh, calculator or not. watch is super cool. <laughs> calculator oh, watch. Is- no, now I'm putting a rift between the two of them. Calculator watch, Jason. I, I don't remember a calculator watch ever being a thing. I just, I don't remember ever. There seeing were these one little watches that you know. Look, all watches <laughs> told time back then, and then this watch came along and it was. It was a calculator. Look, that's which cool seemed because like you could cheat. That's in why class. you could cheat at math. I mean, you, no calculators, 
Can I have a watch? Because well, sure. because the teachers weren't aware that the calculator was. Uh, oh no, they take it away from the kids yeah. that have it. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I see a lot of of uh, buttons on that watch that say one through nine. By the way, I'm looking at the monitors here on on YouTube, which you can do as well. YouTube.com slash spitballers. Mm. I have too little hair. Mike has way too much. I mean, that's oh, where, yes. that's what's happened. I I got to Mike's stage and realized that I wasn't going to go get a real haircut for a while, and I just cut it off out of frustration. And Mike has gone wolf man, oh, full teen moon. wolf. The, the full moon, yes. And for the first time in my adult life, I'm just right in the hair department. <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> I'm yeah. the Goldilocks for this one moment in time. Oh, man, you are certainly so, not too much hair. You are 100% of 70%. Yeah, baby. At Spitballers Pod on Twitter, Instagram.com slash Spitballers Pod if you want to hang out with us on social media. Let's uh let's kick this thing off. Would you rather Would you rather be a tetherballer or a hacky sack? Oh man. Yeah, that's if a great I, question. That is a great question. If I had to be one of them, I would be the hacky sacker. Because I do agree they were even at our school, they were the skateboard crowd mm -hmm. and they weren't necessarily the most popular but you also they you know you weren't gonna pick a fight with skateboarders uh so i would i would take the hacky sack okay all right now i'm just starting to think about the goth crowd and did the goth crowd ever hacky sack i i don't remember there there's a little bit of bleed over between the skateboarders bit, right? and the in the, the goth it's it, it is so bizarre like which group and ends up like rising to the the, the it just, higher in the social People just want to be order. in groups. It, yeah. It doesn't, at, at some point in time, they're like, oh, let's grab a beanbag and start kicking it. Now, uh, wait That'll a be our group. Wait a minute. What if whatever group you were in, <laughs> oh, we all definitely. think no. was the cool group, and like yeah. we, we played basketball, so the basketball people were like the pinnacle of popularity. we did it. And then the hacky sackers no. thought they were at the top of the list. This definitely ha no. I don't think we were the top of the list. Yeah, you I'm, weren't. I'm certainly, you just weren't the bottom. Certainly not claiming that by by any stretch. But that is definitely a thing because uh, I, I was friends with Al Borland growing up. Uh, we had another friend, and Al Borland. You guys had no, one other friend. No, 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 uh, no. I, yeah, I had, I had very few friends, but they were my friends at a different school. Were in the marching band, and. They would continually try to uh, get me to believe that being in the marching band was cool. The whole marching band did try to do that to everybody <laughs> everywhere. That that one's now, not they different. They are they are large. They are a mighty army. So I understand that there is like a, a their own little power ecosystem. in numbers. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you wear uniforms like that, you have to say that all the time. <laughs> all right. This has become. That wasn't a real question. Here's the real. Would you rather question from John over on Patreon. Um, would you rather be forced to take part in a ballet performance <laughs> or a, syn a synchronized swimming performance? Oh, um, boy, I, I it's am... hard. To, it's hard to not answer for me the swimming for two reasons. One, you got that breath capacity? Of course I do not. <laughs> but the ballet performance inherently in my mind, it is large audience, very out in the open. Um, Constantly comprehending my embarrassment. The swimming one, I don't mm. know what kind of crowds gather. I'm mostly worried about, am I going to die? <laughs> and so there's less of me knowing what's staring at me. I'm I laughing. I'm laughing because uh, at, in my house, I have, I have a move that I go to. It's legendary. <laughs> now, uh, I believe- A ballet move? A, a ballet move, a dance move. I believe it is called a leap. Where you do the running and you you jump and usually a, a trained professional dancer will go uh, yeah, full split, splits, full splits, splits in, the, in the air, splits yeah. in the air. And my uh, my jumping ability, at least my vertical jumping ability, is well documented <laughs> amongst this crowd. I feel like I'm getting at least 38 inches off the ground, and I've seen the film and it's closer to 3.8 inches off of the ground. And I do this, I, like I kick my legs up, and they, and my family, and my wife, they laugh hysterically, and I, I don't understand the joke, and I, just, I just keep trying to get better and better at my leaps. But like, what, when my wife will just ask me, she's like, "Oh, you got, you got to do a leap right now," and then oh they just, they just cackle like maniacs. We've never seen I, this leap, I, from oh, you, I will. which means <laughs> we'll that you have leap. a special move that you use only. At, 
Is this like when you run into the fridge or something? Well, no, like just when dancing happens. Oh, I, get, okay. I get in on it. I go to the oh, leap. Oh, that's, your go- that's like my bird dance. Got here's it. what I know that we get to experience in about an hour <laughs> yeah. is we get to experience a Mike leap. As soon as this show is over, I'm watching him get 3.8 inches off the ground. Now, I have a move in my household. That's probably being generous. A is ballet move? A ballet move that is somewhat similar to yours in the sense that it's you know, it's renowned within the household. Mm-hmm. It's my famous high kick. Mm. Um, my high kick is a 90 degree <laughs> angle. Okay, so <laughs> this kick, and that's also being generous. I'm That's max. That's full high kick gets to straight full, out in full front of me. Extension. Full extension. That's the level of my hamstring tightness. You don't get to, you don't get to know 90 degrees. No, I'm, I'm 75 degrees. And that's my high kick. So when it comes to like the idea of me doing Jason, ballet, your kicks are very acute. Yeah, yeah, very well done. No obtuse kicks <laughs> over here. Um, when it comes to ballet and the flexibility and the body movement, mm. like I can synchronize with someone, whatever within my limitations, right? We can go and my legs can go up over the water and Mm -hmm. this and then this and then this and then this. And all we got to do is sync it up. It looks bad from the get-go, but Mm -hmm. if we're in sync, it's okay. Okay. But as a ballerina, (laughs) I I I can't pull off a move. Genuine question here, because I don't know the answer, and this is probably super ignorant, but are you a ballerina if you're a boy... Oh, that's or a, a good girl? question. Or they, or, I believe so. Like, do you I know believe, that, Al? I feel like you would know that. I thought you just called them ballet dancers if they're male, but I could be wrong. Possibly. And uh, look, no, they're, do not hear what we know. Ballerinos? That. <laughs> it can't, ballerinos? It can't be ballerinos. <laughs> Ball- I mean, it just seems like maybe the O, the A. <laughs> Ballerine bros. <laughs> but people in ballet, those people are absolute savages. If Agreed. You, if you like their athletic ability, their determination, what they have done to their feet. Have you ever seen oh, a, yeah. a professional ballet dancer's feet? Those things have turned into hobgoblin claws. <laughs> they have they have traded their feet. Is that the equivalent the of the, the uh, MMA fighter with the ear? Yes, the yeah, ears? the cauliflower yeah. ear. Yes. Okay. I, do you, do they use their moves around the house though? Like we're talking about these moves we've got. Like if you're a professional oh, ballet dancer, yes. are you using that whenever you can? Yeah. So, Is that how you get into bed? You need a you need a cup that's from high up in the cupboard. Oh, let me up gra- on the toesies. Let me grab that with mm. my foot. <laughs> um, guys. Oh, we got breaking news. We've got. It is ballerinos, news. isn't it? A ballerino is used in Italian oh. for a male dancer who. Dances oh. principal roles in a ballet company. It's a ballerina. It's a ballerina? It was the linguistic. Uh, it made I mean, sense I, to me. I get it, right? Because a ba- uh, yes. Okay. Well, I, so I am be no ball- ballerino. <laughs> no. I am a swimming dancerino. Oh, okay. All right. I, uh, I think we're good here. Dan from the website, would you rather forget your anniversary or your wife's birthday? Oh. Ooh. Easy. Which have me. you done? Oh, I've never done it either. <laughs> okay. I, I, you guys are so big. Jason is so big on on days and anniversaries and moments and birthday weeks and yeah, we 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 love to celebrate the occasion. So I can't imagine we would. Do you ever... have anniversary week? No, where, he has a lot of stock in Hallmark. You make your children do everything. Uh, that's called. That's like three hundred and. Uh, you know, okay. <laughs> fifty-eight <laughs> days of the year when it's not their birthday, it's not Christmas. You know, okay. you take out some of those yeah. days. Otherwise, they belong to me. Right. Um. <laughs> but um, here we have we've talked about this. We do the birthday week thing. Mm-hmm. So if I can forget the birthday, ah, this is a lot of time back in my year. To be clear, during the week leading up to either Jason or his wife's birthday. The other one is basically responsible for servitude. serving or, yeah, servitude's a perfect way to say it. Yeah. I going to say basically being their slave. Yeah, we're a bond servant. We yeah. choose to willingly submit to the ideas, wishes, whims, and fancy of the other. And I would love to skip a year. So uh, I can't remember what her birthday is. Mm. Are, are you, do you have those things on lockdown? Oh, yeah. I, I know her birthday, her social, our anniversary. I never, I don't miss those things, despite my horrific memory. Hmm. I, uh, my memory 
is excellent. It Char- is. It truly is excellent. Your memory is and, outstanding. But the but the hole in my memory comes with dates. Really? Yeah. I I. So you, have you? For, let me just, just. Have you forgotten either one? N- I've never missed one. Okay. I have. I have definitely had one sneak where I, up on you. Where it's like, oh, in two days, yeah. this is happening. Uh, the wife's the, the birthday is much easier because that's right around Christmas. But the anniversary is harder. And I had, uh, I was out at a uh, a dinner with some friends years ago. And we actually got into an argument, not a, you know, just a friendly argument of, I couldn't remember the exact date of my wedding. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's good. <laughs> and not just the year, but the date. Yes. Oh, no. And my friend was so confident that he knew what it was. More uh, than you did. Yeah. Thank- thankfully, uh, we- I ended up on the correct side. <laughs> But it was there was definitely a moment of doubt where I'm arguing with my friend. I'm like, wait, hold on. You know my anniversary and I don't. I got gaslighted for we, sure. We are like honestly the opposite of Jason and Tiffany when it comes to all big days. Like we just don't care that much and it's right. never bothered either of us. I will say that with the COVID year and dates becoming just mists in the wind, mm-hmm. I my wife just had a birthday uh, about a week ago and it I didn't forget it. But it was it was close. I mean, it was like I know it's around here, but everything right now is like it's either early February, late February right now, or it's early March, late March. That's as close as I get to knowing what day it is. All right, let's put. I'm gonna put the three of us on the spot right now. Little bit of dating here, okay, gentlemen. We are three days away as of this recording moment, uh huh, from Valentine's Day. Yeah, I don't know if you're aware of this. Do I, either I one be- of you have anything? <laughs> planned right now or any idea of what is happening because mike's mike's face says no i remember yesterday <laughs> okay and what's wild about that so like sponsors of this show i've i have done sponsor reads yes specifically talking about valentine's day and and i have completely forgotten that that, that well, is not, rapidly not too surprising there's we never do anything for valentine's day but now that you mention it i think we should probably like Post made some cookies or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's go in on something <laughs> together here. Uh, <laughs> uh. All right, Charles from Patreon. Would you rather help someone move every Saturday, <laughs> or go to two children's birthday parties every Saturday? Oh my goodness. Oh. So would I rather live my normal life, or have to uh, One help of these people you get move? Cake at at least you do get cake, but this is to me this is a question of. Uh, physical warfare, because the, the moving it's tough on the body, but the children's birthday parties that is a full mental warfare where, like, me being around that much noise of yeah, there's a sensitization of, of, of children. Yes, yeah. yes, overstimulation. Of, there it is. I yeah. can't handle the noise, and two of them, despite getting like so, and I, you're there at least I, two hours for these parties. You're enduring two of oh. them. And I'm getting fatter because of all the cake? You are getting pretty fat. I have never been at a birthday party that's over in two hours. Ever. <laughs> oh, so you're saying that was the low side. That's that's ridiculous. And I I think we can do it. I think we can get it done. I mean, a two-hour party is plenty. Um, but no, I mean, I guess if it's at a, at a location where they've rented it out for an hour, those are the best. That's professional. That's, 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 that's how best. you do it. Because you're good- in and you're out. And it's like, sorry, they're telling us we no, have that to is, leave. No, that is... Comforting for all of your guests when you set it up that way. It, if you're a good friend, you will include some pizza with the move. Like a good friend plans. Sure. You either got pizza or donuts for the Saturday move. I'm When's, sure there's pizza at the birthday party. No, I, I'm too. just saying, maybe. When's the last time you had to help someone move? Probably about a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's been it's been a minute for me. I Can mean, you imagine doing that every week? No, every no. Saturday it sounds like your job is to be a mover. Right. That's that's a nightmare. Um, I'm sure it would put me in better shape, and I don't want it. I the want other the one shape just... that cake makes. <laughs> the shape that cake makes. <laughs> uh, I, I imagine I would become quite the birthday party treat snob if I was going twice every oh, week. Oh, yeah. Like, like, you know, you start maybe you start a blog, and you start ranking these parties, mm. and the, 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 hey, they didn't have any chips at this one. You call these party favors? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Tortilla chips, hmm? Mm, three out of ten cupcakes at this one for little Bobby. <laughs> All right, um, I will go with the birthday parties, no doubt about it. Yeah, I would. I'll, I can go hide in a corner. 
browse my phone or something at the can you get lost at a party is that okay as a parent you can get lost is in that a party just pretending you're pooping if it's in a restroom exactly yeah. right that's where you have to <laughs> oh no disappear diarrhea again <laughs> With your laptop, <laughs> you brought your laptop. Do you uh, do you have an upstairs bathroom? <laughs> oh, you do. Okay. It's in the master. <laughs> okay, I'll. Uh... And uh, magazines. What's the magazine situation around here? <laughs> you mind if I plug in my charger in the? Okay. All right. Uh, before we get to that's a great question. Let's uh. take a quick break. Spitwads, I want to thank HelloFresh. For feeding me and my family so deliciously because they are awesome. HelloFresh gives you pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. You probably know this from listening to hundreds of episodes, but I am a chef. You like to eat and you like to chef. I like to eat and I like to chef. It's well said, Mike, but you want to know what I don't like to do? Go to the stupid grocery store. No one likes that. You know what else I don't want to do? What? Find the recipe, figure out what to cook, plan a meal. I just like to do the fun stuff, the cooking and the eating. The cooking and the chefing. The cooking and the chefing. Chef, and exactly right. HelloFresh lets me do that. And it's 46% cheaper than shopping at your local grocery store. Plus, you skip those stupid checkout lines. Check out HelloFresh. You are going to absolutely love it. Everything is delivered right to you. They've got all sorts of plans, family meal plans. You can't go wrong. Go to HelloFresh.com slash spitballers10 and use the code SPITBALLERS10 for 10 free meals, including free shipping. Once again, that is HelloFresh.com slash SPITBALLERS10 and code SPITBALLERS10 for 10 free meals and free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. That's a great question. We do have a great draft coming up as well. But yes. first, we have a great question. Brady. Just one? Well, several. <laughs> but, I mean, the, the segment's a singular. So, uh, Ooh, do we need to change the That's name? a great question. <laughs> yes, that's we do, Mike. Better. That's better. <laughs> Brady from the website. When on a walk, uh, is it okay to pick up my dog's poop and throw it in a trash can that's not mine mm. when the trash can is by the street? Okay, so you're not going. <laughs> You're not walking up the driveway. <laughs> yeah, going I would be tempted to do that too. If the if the trash if can visible. was out front and visible. If it's visible, I'm not opening the back gate and finding your <laughs> trash can. Uh, I'm sure they've got a garbage in their kitchen. Let me go right in there and throw it away. I mean, we are assuming this this pickup will be in a bag. Yes. Right. You're not. Yes. You're not like you're free not, handing you're not it. You're bare handing the dog turd. Well, Nobody I'm just saying, does like, that. <laughs> I got to clean up after this guy. You're okay. If nobody stupid. does that ever then if you don't bring a bag are you just leaving the poop yes okay. yes i mean i guess that's an obvious and answer you, you are a monster no look i've done this before can On you return to the scene of the crime like say you yes. make a mistake yes do you go home get a bag and come back that is exactly yes. what you should and do. you should yeah it's 100 percent what you should so do. if you <laughs> chase oh chase no him. jason what are you turd littering so here's the deal I he, have he prefers a, to call it fertilizing. I, <laughs> yes, I'm. I'm helping the grass grow. We're, we're composting here, right? Um, on the, right on the cement, right on the asphalt. So <laughs> we have a little green belt right by our house. Hey, pile, get in, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's it's down a block or so, yeah. and we've got this big green belt. We take our dogs there, and they play. And every now and then, they'll go poopsie doozy there. And there is a poopsie doozy. Just let him keep going. Just let him keep going. It's come. It's just that's what came out. Um, it's what the dog said. So (laughs) they have this little poopsie daisy. Poopsie daisy. (laughs) They have this little container there with a little garbage can and bags. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to you know. And I will always go grab a bag, put it my hand in, do the inside out trick, throw the bag away. I'm not gonna leave my dog's poop. But when they're out of bags, it's on them. I mean, th- like oh I go over goodness. there, there's no bag. What do you want me to it's do? It's on them. It's on them. They say, here's a bag. And then, you know, it's like if okay. you go to your friend's house and they don't have a toilet. <laughs> it's on them. That you, it's, you know, in the corner of the house. Like, what do you want me to do? I had to go to the bathroom. You didn't provide me a toilet. You can't be blamed for that. What? Let me let me paint a different you picture. Did this to you me. did this while you're peeing in the corner. <laughs> you made me do this. Don't look at me. Oh my god. 
Now you're bringing a, a story to mind that I don't know if I want to tell. Oh, well, yeah. that's, that means you're telling it. Story time. I have to admit something. I have my first. Um, Poops a daisy? I have my first public Are urination you- situation. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I feel like I have like an excuse. No bathroom? No toilet? I mean, that's a good excuse. <laughs> well, okay. Yes. What is this? So a funny thing happened. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, so a funny thing happened. And I feel like I could defend myself in a court of law, or maybe not. But I had taken my uh, my son to the orthodontist, and this was out in Scottsdale. Mm-hmm. And um, I was waiting in the car. It's COVID season, right? Yes. Limited amount of people go in. And my wife took my son in, and I'm just sitting in the car. And I realize I'm far from home, and I really got to go, mm-hmm. right? Like, like I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. So I texted the <laughs> wife. Well, first I got out, and I walked around the complex. There's no open-doored restrooms. So due diligence, number one. Okay. Number two, text the wife. I said, is there a restroom inside of the orthodontist office? She says, Yes, there is, but it's really packed in here. Okay. The bathroom is packed? The whole office, and I assume people go into the bathroom. I didn't want to go congregate. It would be Mm -hmm. a public health hazard. So do we call Mm -hmm. that doo-doo diligence number two? Doo-doo diligence number two. (laughs) I'll be here all day. (laughs) At this point, I had to do the... I'm walking around the parking lot, and I'm going, where can I... Uh, I'm like, I need to do this. Right. And I found there's a dumpster. It was like across the way. She climbed in. Tell me what happened next. <laughs> so I go, but there are people, other people are walking around the parking lot. Like I have to get, I have to do a, a full three, four minute survey of what well, angles okay. could potentially see me. Dumpster just exposed or was this a dumpster area? No, this was a enclosure. fully exposed dumpster. Okay. There right. was an alleyway behind it. There okay. was, it was all open. The dumpster was the only cover I had. Now, daylight? Full daylight. Full daylight. Oh, no. Full daylight to the point where. So the plan, <laughs> the plan I came up with was this, and the, the dumpster's not tall enough to hide me completely. You're a tall man. I'm a tall person. So in other words, I'm gonna be my head's gonna be visible where I'm going. You don't squat or duck down a little. No, because I wanted to be able to. Be, I'd rather be surveying it's, who yeah. could come up on me than be found out like a dude a crouch peeing behind. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> so, Don't look at me. So I, what I did is I pulled, I pulled my phone out and I pretended I was talking oh. on the phone behind the were dumpster. You, hold on, were you audibly talking like really loud? No, because I was a distance that I could just mouth it. Oh but I, I'm, so you're lip syncing a phone conversation. Well, because he wanted to make sure that if people came by, they're like, oh, he's just having a but, co- th- phone conversation behind the dumpster. That's right. He needed privacy to be behind the dumpster. <laughs> and I was afraid of my posture. So I try, and, and, and let me just say this. If any of you have peed in public before, <laughs> you know, it's pretty hard to do if you pretend you're casually leaning on a dumpster. Mm. So I did the half lean. <laughs> and I'm half going leaning back. half leaning going back and I'm trying not to pee on my shoes and <laughs> and there are moms in the parking lot with oh, their kids no. that could definitely see me no but I'm on the phone um, nothing to see here and then I'm like man if a camera got me right now I will end up on the internet <laughs> but man did it feel good <laughs> wow because I took care of business and my wife's like did you find a restroom and I just said I took care of it I sure did so there moving. you go um wow. And that was, I know this was like two line. weeks ago. I was going to say, that's, that's a recent story. That's very recent, oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations, Spitwads. Um, all right, are we moving, moving well, forward? It, here, it, the official answer is yes. If, if I will say, I can just speak for myself. Seal the bag. If, if, if it were my garbage can and your dog takes the dump, but you are being a responsible pet owner and you're picking it up, throw it in my garbage can, please, because I would much rather that than just you be one of those cretins that, Leaves the, the it, dog droppings. Would it make a difference if it's empty or full? Like, if it's empty, the trash can or the it, the trash or the can. bag. Of poop? <laughs> Let's assume the bag is full, um, <laughs> to the brim. If, if the trash can is empty, that means you're putting this in here, and it's going to be there a whole it's, week. It's, it's going to be there a week. I understand. I'm chipping into society. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Let me paint a different picture though, real quick, because I wanted to bring this scenario up. You're walking, Jason. You're walking your dogs. Okay. Um. Big doozy poozy or whatever you called it, right? Poopsie doozle. Poopsie doozy. (laughs) 
right on. <laughs> Show the poops and doozle some respect. It's right on the sidewalk in front of somebody's house, okay? Oh, no. Actually, you know what? He scurries up the driveway a couple feet, Ooh. and he drops it right there. On property. Bad on boy. property. Now, you don't have a bag, but you want to be a good person. Yes. So you go back home to get a bag. Okay. You return. The poop is missing. I run. I run immediately. <laughs> I run away as fast as I can. As soon as I can oh. see the driveway is clear, I turn and I go. Okay, I, go as fast I was as thinking I can. maybe you'd be knocking on the door, going like, "Was there some poop out there?" Rocky, I'm back run. for it. <laughs> Rocky, sugar, ketchup. We've been made. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Ronnie from Twitter has a great question for us. What complete stranger will you never forget? Good or bad. So oh. a complete stranger to you. Well, I heard about there was this guy behind a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget that guy. What a phone oh, conversation. He My was head having. was on a swivel. Because I was covering 360 degrees, man. I needed to know if you, you could have snuck up on me anywhere. Yeah. Not the best spot, but middle of a city. So I feel like I did pretty good. Um, I remember a stranger. Okay. Um. I remember a stranger from one of our trips. We went on uh, trips around the country. We do the live show for the fantasy footballers, <laughs> and we went to a Carl's Jr. Oh, man, we we've, we've talked about we've talked oh, about oh, uh, Big Gordo. Big Gordo. <laughs> and there's there was a uh, a manager at this Carl's Jr. and the Carl's Jr. is in the middle of literally nowhere. It's like Carl's Jr. Uh, random stranger selling pottery on the street, and then nothing else. That's this that's the town, and. Uh, I just remember that was the nicest freaking dude ever. That guy was He took amazing. so much passion. Yes. I've never, I mean, we. I know we've told the story before, but I don't know. It was 50 episodes ago or something. Might have been two. Who, Might, knows? who knows at this point. Um, but I've never seen someone so good at their job when their job was working at Carl's Jr. Yeah. They, I mean. It made me feel happy find as what a person. Find what you're great at. <clears throat> find what you're passionate or about. Or if you're not. If it's not a dream job, do it like it's your dream job, and maybe you'll find yours. Yeah, I, you know, as soon as we read the question, I was like, "Oh, okay." What complete stranger will somehow, you never forget? Somehow, all I, of them. I remember a stranger, and I wasn't even there. This was a story, but for uh, that you guys told, uh, and if I remember it correctly, it had to do with uh, travel. I think you were maybe on the airplane with this feller, uh, but he was just kind of a you know chattier type of feller and then he referred to one of you as squanto oh, montabon yes, that's right i that was me. and he called jason yeah he called jason really short yeah i was squanto <laughs> montabon <laughs> what does that even mean i don't know but, we but do i remember got called him. him that's true that's true remember him forever uh, and i remember big gordo i remember these names once people bring them up the only person that came to mind for me was uh, we were we were handing out like uh, care bags uh, to homeless downtown, and there was a guy who was in a wheelchair, no legs, vet, and we just talked for like forever. Nice, and heard his story, and was like, man, that dude's had life. He's yeah. lived. That guy has like had sixteen different lives, um, and so I guess I remember him. Yeah, yeah. That we we do meet quite a few people on these trips that we've taken. I remember the uh, like. One day bartender at a hotel in Santa Monica. Oh, oh yeah, Hugo, Hugo, and this dude. He there's was no way boss. This, there's no day, way this dude's not fired for how much you know Look, liberties he took with their alcohol supply. Like, but he made his own drinks. L ladies and gentlemen, if you're stopping by the Georgian and Hugo is there, say, say what's up. Say hello. Say me. hello. There you go. Oh man. All right. Um, let's go with uh, James from Patreon. If fantasy football were to suddenly stop. Mm. And the three of you had to immediately create a new podcast where you are an expert at another subject. What profession and subject do you think you could convince the masses to believe you're actually experts in? Easy. The stock market? The stock market. Yeah. One hundred percent. Without a doubt, it would be a stock market. Bitcoin, uh, finance, crypto, something absolutely. like that. It would be all encompassing because it would be, it'd be new school, not old school. And the thing that I have learned from, you know, uh, uh, Taking in information from all sorts of different resources, articles, radio, podcast, television, uh, on, on finance, on stock market, on all these things is that 
nobody knows. Nobody mm-hmm. knows. No, they're, they're just saying what they think might happen, which is just like fantasy, fantasy football. football, right? Or the weather. Like you, d- we're, we're in the same occupation. We, we, it, it is. It feels very similar. You gather as much data as you can. You make as educated decision as possible. You're not always going to be right, but at the end, if you win more than you lose, it's a good thing. And I think we would crush that. Yeah, I, I, that makes sense. Like, I can think of specific things each of us might be individually good at, but when you think about all three of us coming together, we would love to speculate on stocks. That'd be perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come up also, with new names for them all. Not, a, finan- not a financial advisor. Yes. Yeah, you haven't given any advice yet. You're okay. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, Laura from the website. Do you know who your wife's celebrity crush was growing up, and do you look like them? <clears throat> I know, I know my. I wife's. know mine too. I don't know my wife's celebrity. Crush I know two of them. Okay, and uh, my wife, uh, my wife has had a thing for Orlando Bloom. Okay, I think, uh, I think the question's been answered. Pirates of whether or not I look like him. The yes, answer is no. Identical. The other one was Anderson Cooper. And really? Yeah. Really? I, the, the Silver Fox. Yeah. Anderson yeah, yeah. Cooper. She would always. I. You know, we didn't need to watch the news that much. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Is she watching the news on mute? <laughs> <laughs> so those are the two. I don't think I look like either of those people. So um, far more like if you had to convince me of one of them, I would side on the Anderson Cooper side more than the Orlando Bloom. Oh man, I don't but think you can side on either. I know, here. Well, no. that's why I'm just saying if I have to pick between. No, the if, two. if her crush had been Jesse from Breaking Bad, maybe then I could have pulled yeah. it off today. You got some Pinkman going on. Yeah. I, you know, at least Orlando Bloom was in like a blonde long wig as Legolas. Maybe you throw him in a blonde what long wig. What if I wig. went to the mustache? Doesn't he have a mustache? Doesn't he look like a conquistador all the time? Some, yeah, yeah. But I, I like to exclusively view Orlando Bloom as um, Legolas. Yeah, I forget he's in that movie. You forget he's yeah, Legolas? Yeah, because that's kind of what he's known for. Yeah, it's a little. I, all right, who's your I wife's, right, who's your wife's right crush? Pirates. What are we disclosing on the air today? Oh, it's, it's, this is no secret to. Uh, oh, I know who it is. It's Justin Timberlake. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Oh, but yeah, my, my wife was. I know a second one for your wife. Oh, hit me. Uh, Andy Holloway. Aquaman. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Jason yeah. Jason Momoa. Momoa. Yeah, but that's a shared crush between the two. <laughs> 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 yes, so Jason, Justin Timberlake. Yeah, Jason Momoa. No, my wife was big into the. Uh, and to the boy band when it was in sync, Britney Spears, they were ruling the world. And to be fair, I I understand if if my wife left me for Justin Timberlake, I go, yes, yeah. that, that's a bad beat. winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> that's that's, that's mean, a bad beat, but I I see what's going on over here. I get it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I'm really sad, but I understand. Like, what, are, like what are you supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, I'm no JT. No, because no, none of us are. No, freaking Justin Timberlake. What about you? I, I genuinely don't know who my wife's celebrity crush was growing up. What about I, now? Now I know she she was she likes Chris Pratt. She okay. likes the, okay. the talent and the funny, and so I would say nailed it. <laughs> you guys, you are, had a similar body like, at one point. Yeah, That's, you you yeah. look like Chris Pratt. I look like Andy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right from the Office, and it you know Parks what? and Rec. Parks and Rec, and you want to mm. know what the best part is about. Andy Dwyer, the the mm-hmm. tubbo funny, as we should call him, is that he gives me great hope mm. because I know that he went from that to like, you know, muscle man superhero. And so someday if I all I need is that giant movie contract uh, that needs sure. me You're to so be close. A, also a uh, handsome face. You oh, need one of those. All right. Here it is. It's It was JTT. I texted my wife. Oh, yeah. JTT. Jonathan Taylor. Thomas. Yeah. Jonathan Team Taylor people. Thomas. King of the year. And I did have a JTT haircut. You know, the, the middle part. Yeah, because we all did. Because we all did. <laughs> oh, um, my gosh. My hair was blonde and middle parted and flat. And I, I, looked, I was actually. I look like a weirdo, man. I, I was a really, White really hair. cute boy. Like. Little features, bright blue eyes, nice hair. I I was a really cute boy. And then what as soon as my teen years hit, oh brother, you, oh man. you did not, uh, as they say, glow up. I blew up <laughs> in the face with acne extraordinaire. Oh my goodness, was that hard for you? Uh, yeah, it was. It was some pretty rough time. Uh, I I was. There was not enough Accutane uh, in the world. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're glad you made it out. Yeah, we're here now. All right. Before we jump into the draft, one more quick break. 
Spare Watts, too often we're choosing between quality or a fair price. With Harry's, you don't have to choose. They give you award-winning blades at a factory direct price. And for a limited time right now, Harry's is offering their starter set plus a free body wash for mm. just $3 at harrys.com slash spitballers. You are correct, Jason, because the Harry's body wash is sensational. P people know Harry's because of the rages. They're like, oh, yeah. I know, I know I'm getting a good blade. I know I'm getting a good price. But you don't realize they got other stuff, too. You want to smell good? Check it out, man. You got to get that Harry's body wash. They or do you want to smell bad? Well, don't, If not you want to smell bad, don't go to Harry's. That, that is also a good Or point. if you don't want to smell bad, here you go. <laughs> Harry's delivers a close, comfortable shave at a fair price, only $2 per refill. And, fellas, the, the, the blades are not just for your face. It, the Look, my wife has shaved her legs several times with Harry's razors, always my, has good things to say. My wife's always commandeering whatever <laughs> razors I have. They're, they're like, those are mine. Harry's team combined a simple and ergonomic design with five sharp blades. They source their steel from Sweden and manufacture their blades in the world-class blade factory. Harry's German factory is one of a select few manufacturers in the world, Jason, that have mastered the technology, check this out, to create a gothic arch, the gold standard <laughs> for razor blade grinding, and they stand behind the quality of the blades. They have a 100% money back guarantee on harrys.com. We love them. We use them. You will love them as well. For a limited time, Harry's has an exclusive offer for the listeners of our show. New customers can get a Harry's starter set and a free body wash for just $3 at harrys.com slash spitballers. That's over a $16 value for just 3 bucks. You get a five-blade razor. Uh, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, a travel cover. This is three, ridiculous how wait, much stuff. Three bucks? Hold the end for just three bucks. Five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, travel cover, and a travel size body wash. It's an incredible incredible deal. Act fast. Supplies are moving. Go to harrys.com slash spitballers. harrys.com slash spitballers to redeem your offer today. <laughs> The Spitballers Draft. All right, I like this one. Mike has the first pick. We are drafting Oof. fictional characters to collect a debt. You have, look, you've loaned some money out to some good friends, or they used to be good friends, but they've not paid you back, and you've you've warned them. You said, mm -hmm. hey, I'm going to send my friends after you. Mm -hmm. They've said, yeah, we're going to pay you next week, but they never do. Mm -hmm. And now your friends, they your, your posse of four characters have to go out and collect this debt. Professor X. Now, we did make a rule. We said uh, we would restrict this to fictional characters that do not have superpowers or magic mm -hmm. or... Uh, yeah, no no special powers. They are... They can't a, even be robots. They're a human. Because there are enough fictional characters This would turn into a Marvel from. draft. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, that was the worry. Um, so, Mike, you have the very first mm -hmm. pick, and... I know that's going to be hard for you in a way. I've got, I've got my pick. Easy. I've got my number one pick here. All right. But I, I just want to say, like, when I was trying to think about this, the 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 struggle was, yeah, there, I mean, you, you can find intimidating bad guys, but you can also find, like, intimidating good guys who... 100%. You're yeah. like, uh, that would be great, but how good at debt collecting would they actually be? But this character that I'm drafting first, uh, he has been on both the the dark side, and I guess he's kind of on the light side now. He terrifies all members of uh, the underbelly of society. He is like a boogeyman. In fact, they call him Baba Yaga. And I am going to take John Wick. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, baby. No, I knew that would be your first pick. I knew yes. it. Yes. I was pretty sure that was your first pick, too. Yeah. So, John Wick. He uh, would have been my first pick. Would uh, he have been your first pick? No. Any chance I have to draft John Wick, I'm going to do it. Yeah, no, it, it makes sense. Um, so John Wick, taking care of business, yes. TCB. Oh, and yeah. And you're right. I mean, here's the thing. If you're a kind of the hero bad guy or a hero debt collector, you do know that you're going to make it through the end of the movie. I mean, the bad guys, they get the job done but then they probably go down at the end. Yeah, but that's just that's just dumb movie garbage. We, that's we, true. We've that's seen plenty. Like, I mean, like, because we before we changed the rules, uh, it modified them. We were talking about well, the, then how do you not take the Terminator with the first pick? Right. And I was going to argue that give me the T one thousand. 
You know, oh, like, over the T-800? T- yeah, like I get that the movie had to kill him off at the end, but we all know that the T-1000 would have... He'd t- get your money back. He would have taken the Terminator out without a problem. You would have taken the T-1000 oh. over the T-800? Yeah. With I'll those take, ears? I'll That's t- ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. Wait, he's got an ear problem? Oh, his ears are so stupid. Arnold Arnold Schwarzenegger's where it's at. I'm getting I would the have taken term. the 800 over the 1000, yeah. but I get it. Jason, you are up. As if, just as if, like the difference between the Terminator and the T-1000 <laughs> is going to, you know, he wouldn't, the, t- the T-800 he wouldn't, wouldn't have gotten I sent the, the debt, but once he saw the liquid metal, he was, he, he coughed up that dough. <laughs> All right. You're um, up, Jay. I You're up. up. And I had one on my list. It was Wick. You only had one? No, I've got 12. Oh, I've got okay. 12. But the order now gets a little nebulous. I'm going to go with someone that, um, look, he, he always gets it done. He always gets the job done. Okay. Um, and he's not always going to have to shoot the place up like John Wick. John Wick really has one skill. Give me the money or else I'm going to uh, kill you. Um, my guy can smooth talk his way Ooh, my guy can convince you to give the money my guy you know now don't get me wrong <laughs> things go south he gonna kill you okay, <laughs> okay so right. at the end of the day uh, he's gonna you're gonna have a martini with my guy oh it's he's gonna be shaken not yep. stirred he's on my list give me mr bond james yes. bond he's gonna collect my debt i have no worries at all and he may get distracted yeah. But he'll come back with my he's money. Got, he's got some vices. <laughs> he's got some <laughs> vices. He may be a longer path, but you'll get your money eventually. But I got the debt from your friend and also his wife. <laughs> he is exactly the guy where where I was thinking about it. Like, he's on my list. And I'm like, but he's a good guy. Is James right. Bond really going to be like, say, hey, hey James, uh, Frank down the street, he thought he had a hot bet. He borrowed 10K from me. He's in too deep. I need you to go get that money. Mm. Is James Bond really going to take his time to go do that? Yeah, because I don't, I'm not collecting bad debts. I'm not a mob uh-huh. boss saying he, he's running a corner shop on my turf so and what you did, need to go get the money. This what is, did they this borrow is money the money? Owed. Yeah, for what, though? Uh, like pre- college, college a, education. <laughs> college education. I helped this kid go <laughs> like to school. Braces. <laughs> braces. And I, you know, he was having some car problems, lent him some money. It's time to pay up. All right. So you're going James <laughs> Bond. <laughs> I'm actually kind of happy to be at the turn here. Like to get two picks in a row because I think there are a lot of really good picks. There are, and, and hopefully the two of them combined might stand to fight against James Bond or John Wick. Well, one of them I'm going to go with another John right away, and this is the one that I thought could have been at the top of mm. your list, Mike. Yeah, I thought yes. It, other than John Wick, and that is John McClane. No, he's not coming back to you, Mike. Yeah. I'm so happy that you took him because I wanted to make sure it didn't get to Mike. Yeah, John McClane. I, ha- I had the dreams. <laughs> So, I mean, th- when you think about somebody that's going to go to bat for you, John McClain is going to do everything. He'll walk on glass for me. He will go get that money mm. back. He will take care of business. Um, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go with him first. John Wick, John Bond, John McClain. Got it. <laughs> John Bond. <laughs> um, and now that I can't select, you know, Wolverine or Luke Skywalker or, or Robocop. Those, those or Robocop. Be, those are... <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Robocop would get you. I, I figured would. he'd take care of that. Oh, he's he's taking the bond money back. Oh yeah, he got he got the money right away. The and then he and then he killed the person for no reason. <laughs> he just just to be graphically violent. Now this is tough because I was a hundred percent locked in on a, on a certain person, but now I'm having the thought that maybe, just maybe, it oh, comes back to you're me. You're gonna play the draft, and I don't think this other guy will. So I'm going to change. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna take a gamble. I'm going to write it down over here so I can see if I win the win the gamble. Okay. Um I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Jason Bourne. It's on my list. I'm going to go with He's Jason Bourne. He's on my Bourne. list. Resourceful. He can take care of you. He handles a gun. He can he can fight you. He doesn't yeah. have to bring the gun. He can send a message by breaking your leg first and then come back with the gun. No, he mm. he'd get your money. I I didn't have him on my list cuz I wasn't sure if he was considered to have like a superpower. Oh, because of these, what was that, Treadstone? Yeah. No, Blackstone? I mean, was it Blackstone? I don't remember. Yeah, it's, it's been a long time. Something so stone. Just, but I'll, we'll allow it. We'll okay. Allow it. Yeah, so now fine, we'll see if, if my gamble pays off. Um, Jason, you're back up. All right. Well, But now you're hunting for maybe who No, no, okay. no, no, no. I, I, I know I'm going here because, you know, I'm going in a world that you would think we don't get to draft from because of the superpowers or mm-hmm. the you know the force and the magic and all that stuff but this guy don't really have it this oh, guy's oh, just don't a, do this this, is, this guy's just an awesome dude 
out there taking, and he's used to collecting debt and having problems and getting himself out of trouble. Go with Han Solo. Oh, Han okay. Solo, baby. Okay, yeah. He's gonna get. No, he's, absolutely. He has no magical powers. He's just a dude. Just who's a dude. Awesome. I mean, he might have a blaster, but you yeah, know, we're you not know, in this situation. He won't. Okay, give him a gun. I'm sure it works the same. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't think about trying to like. I eliminated universes. Right. Based on mm. that, you could have gone with Jabba the Hutt. I don't think he has any sp special powers not, either. Not a human, <laughs> okay. but All no right. superpowers. Mike, you are back on the clock. All right. <laughs> I love Al Borland wrote down Hans Solo, like it's Hans <laughs> Gruber over here. You ever seen <laughs> Star Wars? Isn't this the second this, time? This happened before. Yeah, uh, the it, same it thing with Han Solo? Apparently. I thought I could. Hans <laughs> Gruber. Hans, Hans Booby. All right. Um, sorry, 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 Jeremy. All right. You're back up, Mike. You get yep. two picks. Yep. Uh, so I need I need some muscle. Uh oh. I need I need I need someone who is extremely strong. Uh oh. And I understand that. Well, I mean, I I guess he did, did theoretically come back. Uh, but this guy is actually, I think, I I believe factually, he is considered the strongest man in the world. He may, I, I think he's won some competitions, but. Uh, I will be taking the mountain from Game of oh, Thrones. Oh, that's a good pick. Because that guy is going to be, he's not going to have well, he's to. A he's a load. He will not have to harm you because he will just, st I'll stand there with him. I okay. Say, say, Frank, I really need that money back. He probably knocks on the door. You're the door brought, The door may fall off and from then, him knocking. And then somebody just hands him the money. He <laughs> walks away. He doesn't yeah. do nothing. Yeah, it's an easy peasy. Now, he that's has a good, the that's same a good amount pick. of lines collecting a debt that he had in Game of Thrones, which is nothing. <laughs> 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 um, that's great. That's a good pick. I, I only had movies in my mind. I didn't mm. think about TV shows, but obviously fictional characters are fictional characters. All so right. Great, and great, great I have my guess of who Andy wrote down so i'm gonna write down who i think oh that you you're not gonna pick them i am not because uh, i have someone that i want to make sure that i get on my list uh because uh not only is she incredibly ba she knows she can handle any weapon you give her uh she is extremely resourceful i know exactly so, where he's going uh it, it was if you actually eliminated universes you would have forgotten about this person who was in the terminator but does not have Terminator oh. problems. I will take Sarah Connor. Oh, okay. Because have, did you have you seen T two? Oh, yeah. That lady was not letting anybody. No, that's a good pick. Anybody take her son out? But she was fighting for the life of her son, not collecting a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, Jason. I don't lend out hundred dollars. I lend out hundreds yeah. of thousands of dollars. Whoa, Brooks money over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that's a good pick. Okay, yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good pick. Uh, I saw her on a lot of lists of. Uh, the, the yeah, because she's all. Have you seen? Uh, I just watched the new one, the newest one. Uh, I have not seen that one. Uh, I was Annihilation. I don't remember. Yeah, Whatever. No. But it was the Terminator. Everyone's really excited. She's back in it. Yeah, she's back, and uh, Arnold is back. Yeah. yeah how's well. Grandma Sarah Connor doing? It's a little rough around the edges. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one you just drafted? No, nope. Grandma oh, Connor. Grandma Connor. Nope. I went with T two Sarah all right. Connor. All right, Sarah Connor. Not a bad pick at all. Jason, you are back up. I realized something about my pick that I want to get to me. I don't think it's eligible. <laughs> oh, oh, awesome. Well, I then, I, then I'm wrong. Superman. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna <laughs> Wait, what? I'm going to try to pick it, but we'll see. All right. We'll try to not let you. Um, all right. I've got a lot of names here that I that I wanted, but they're they're just not as fun. I want to go with a fun name. Yeah. I want to go with Roger someone. Rabbit. Got it. I'm going to go with Doc Holliday. Oh. I'm your Huckleberry. He's going to okay. come out here with some six shooters. Oh. Now that's okay. So that is the exact same problem with my pick, which is that that's a real person. So oh. it's not a fictional character. So that I thought maybe I wouldn't be allowed oh, to that's have a good point. Cause he's oh. Doc Holliday exists. In yeah, my, I, my, I was going to put, I was going to put Chuck Norris down, but then I was like, <laughs> he's a real dude. That's true. So, all right. I, well, all so right. What do you I'll think? throw him out. I'll I think throw maybe him throw him out. It's a good look. It's, it's a good pick, but it's not a fictional Walker, character. Walker Texas Ranger is available, and that <laughs> oh, is that's just Chuck Norris. Walker, There's no acting in Walker that show. Walker told me. <laughs> well, now I can say, yeah. Now I can say William Wallace was the guy that I was going to say. Oh, he's uh, on my list, but he's is, the same story. Right. He, he, he was not, a historical he character. He does not count. All right. Uh, so Doc Holliday, William Wallace. I knew you put a W down. They are. They are gone. Oh man. 
I don't know if this one is fictional or not. You guys have to tell me. <laughs> Teach me my history. <laughs> the okay. lines have become blurry for The Jason. lines have become blurry. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Wait, was he real? I thought this was just a lot of... Oh. Um, all right. Uh, Maximus. No! Maximus no! from Gladiator. Decimus Meridius. Yeah, yeah baby. Yes. Oh, I thought that was a shoe in for my last Husband pick. Husband to a murder wife. Yeah. Father to a murdered son. Are you and, not entertained? And, and I will have, have my, my vengeance. vengeance. Oh, man. That, that is disappointing yeah. because that is stolen directly from my next pick. Oh, fantastic. So he and is if I had fictional? let you take stupid Doc Holliday, I could have had Maximus. <laughs> mm, okay. I believe he's fictional, yes. Yeah. All right. And it, look, if he is real, I don't know. Yeah, we're, it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> if he's, all right. So, um, all right. There are a couple ways to think. I have two picks left, right? Mm -hmm. Right here. You have the hero that can go get it done, mm -hmm. but you have intimidation. The mountain's not a good guy. No, so he's a bad dude. I'm gonna go. Well, with he's a man. For, he, look, ha, don't insult my, my 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 man. He's just a man for hire. Okay, but he's a bad dude for he's, hire. Look, he's got a more. He's got to pay his rent too. You know what he doesn't have? A moral compass. <laughs> All right, I will go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with one that is in the Jason Bourne, John McClane side of things. Okay. And I'll start with that, and that is Brian Mills. Oh, Dude, yeah. He's from I, Taken. He so is, Liam Neeson from Taken. He is on my list, and I, I would uh, he would have been like a last-round pick. I will get my money. Because, but you don't know who Brian Mills because is. Because the name power yes. well, of Brian Mills is 0.0. .0. Well, I, that's why I think we need to be very careful when we post this poll. <laughs> we just need to put the names people understand that it's Liam Neeson in Taken. Name, names just only. the names. Names that's only. It. Uh -huh. Names only. And I'm going to – well, look – I'm going to go away. I'm not going to win. So we know that from history. So I'm going to go with who I think jumps out as the scariest guy get, to come collect a debt that's possible. Get those debts, man. And I don't know if I've, if either of you have seen the movie, but I'm taking Anton from No Country for Old Men. Oh, mm. yeah. I haven't seen oh, it. Oh, with his little pressure gun? With his little pressure gun. Oh. And that face, that is the, one of the scariest movie characters yes. that I've ever seen in my entire life. The scene where he, I, I believe, it's been so long since I've seen it, but he's in a, a like a gas station and deciding it, you have no idea if he's going to pay the attendant or, or if, kill him or if he's just going to pop a bolt in his face. Yeah, Javier Bardem plays that character oh, and yes. it's Anton from No Country for Old Men. That and character is fabulous. That character is a... Once in a lifetime type of yes. character. I, I very, have very not good. seen the movie, but I clearly know who the character is. You should is. see I've, that movie. Yes, I, yes. I should. That's one I, I, I missed, but I've seen enough. Uh, anyway, he's going to get my money and more. Yeah, he probably he's gonna will. Bring, he's going to bring back some he more. He will. All right. Uh, I'm between two characters here, and one of them, they're the same exact actor. And in one of these two movies, um, this guy played a debt collector. And I don't think you realize that this character was a debt collector. So it's like. What fictional character do you want to collect your debt? I don't know. The one who's a debt collector? Is I would imagine he's pretty good at it. <laughs> but I'm not going to take that version of this actor. Emilio because Estevez? Emilio! <laughs> I'm not going to take the version Goldberg. Uh, of this actor because if he got in a fight, despite the fact that he is a boxer, if he got in a fight with John Rambo, okay, John Rambo winning that uh, fight yeah, over okay. Rocky, who was a debt collector. So I am Rocky taking, was a debt collector? Rocky was a debt collector. But here's the problem. I, I did a little research, uh -huh. and he was like, he, he wouldn't fight for debts. He wouldn't yeah. break the guy's fingers. He, was a he good took guy. like half the money in one of the situations. I'm like, I want he all my money. You just call him on the phone and say, you owe us some Yeah, money. I want all my money, so I'm going to get Rambo down Look, there. either you pay me today, or I'm calling you back tomorrow. You're right. Uh, so, yeah, Rambo. Rambo is my okay, pick, and I know how one. well John names do here, so <laughs> John Rambo. All right. Oh man, I I am torn between two names. One I think would be far more effective, and the other one is just really fun. Oh man, curse these polls! <laughs> <laughs> Draft with your heart. Uh Fortnite. <laughs> uh nope. Uh, I'll take the guy who's far more effective at getting me my debts back, uh, Ethan Hunt. I will take. Oh, Eth okay. I will take Ethan Hunt from the Mission Impossible series because he doesn't have to be Ethan Hunt. He could be 
grandma from down the street. Well, give me my money back. <laughs> and then takes the mask off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sucker. S- surprise, it's me. And now I get to run. That's what I do. I'm now, Tom he, Cruise. When he uh, gets the debt back, do some like doves fly out? That's only in part two. That's only if John Woo is involved. Here's okay, the thing. You, like- also, you also know that the only way he's going to get the debt is by breaking into the vault. That's fine. You know, which is highly secured and protected. But he'll get there. I mean, I drafted James Bond with my, right. you know, with my first pick, and this is, I don't know. John Wick, Wick. Poor man's James Bond. The Mountain, Sarah Connor, and Ethan Hunt from Mike. James Bond, Han Solo, Maximus from Gladiator, poor and Rambo. James Bond. And I went John McClane, Jason Bourne, Brian Mills, oh, and Anton Sugar. Is that his name? Yeah. Sugar. Is Anton that from No Country for Old Men. The only way that I accept your comment without extreme uh, verbal verbal sparring here is because Dan- the Daniel Craig version of James Bond, that dude feels pretty serious. Yeah. In, as much as I like James Bond, all the other ones like, like Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, like Pierce Pierce Brosnan. In 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 fairness, I, I love I love like Goldeneye's great. Yeah. But- but it's Pierce Brosnan. In fairness Sean to Connery. Yeah. me, I was one hundred percent, one hundred percent drafting. Yeah, the 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 awesome the Daniel, the, the Daniel Craig. Craig version. The uh, the name, just in case anyone was was curious, and I thought you wrote it down. Yeah, because I saw the W. Yeah, I thought you were gonna go with Walter White. Oh my gosh, that's a good pick. That was that was I was torn between him and Ethan. No, it was, had, it was two W's. It was William Wallace. <laughs> I had three <laughs> names on my list undrafted. I had Captain Jack Sparrow. Like oh, he they, knows no. how to steal that's, the money. That's he's, taking a, your, he's not giving you that money. <laughs> that's true. He's taking it, but he's not giving it to you. I that's didn't true. collect the debt. Aragorn, because, you know, he's just a regular dude. No no special okay. powers. And Django Unchained. I mean, he oh, would, get, he would yes. get that money. Yes, he would. I couldn't help but think of Alonzo Harris, which was Denzel's character oh, yeah. in Training Day. For sure. As cool. well. That movie I didn't know great. you liked to get wet. <laughs> All right, do you uh, you have anybody else on your list, Mike? Uh, I had oh Tony Montana. I have him too. Say I, hello to my little friends. I I had him on here, and I I chose not to draft him because I believe in the comic book version he kind of has a bit of a superpower, but in the movie version, Bane had no powers. Hmm. Uh, in the Dark Knight Rises, but yes. but <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good, but. I think like in the comic he he pumps himself full of venom and then he gets really strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't want to deal with that. And then I didn't know if he had superpowers, but Conan the Barbarian. I no, think I think, he, I think he he's yeah. I think he's just a barbarian. He's just. I think a... he's just a barbarian. <laughs> a plain old run of the mill barbarian. I wanted to try to do some draft where I draft all one actor. <laughs> like, oh, oh, you could. Oh, Bruce Arnold, Willis could have done it, or Bruce Denzel. Willis, hey, Arnold could have done it too. Stallone could have done it. Yeah. Oh, the Eraser. Keanu could have done it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Get Johnny Utah in there. What did we learn today? Oh, well, we all know what we learned today. <laughs> <laughs> we learned that Andy <laughs> peed behind a dumpster. No, look, we learned when you gotta go, you gotta go. I learned that Mike has a very, very special. House oh. only ballet movie. Yes, I, I learned that a male ballerina is a ballerino. <laughs> That's right. That is right. A ballerino. I'm so smart. How do you spell ballerino? That's the real Ooh. question. That's for another segment. Put it on highway to spell. All right, that'll do it for today's episode of the Spitballers. Thanks for listening in. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.